hey guys welcome back to my channel uh today's video is my top five go-to favorite lipsticks that i always gravitate towards uh i have a really big collection of lipsticks uh, so narrowing this down to just five was really hard, but um, I was able to do it and I included uh, five that are are still available for purchase. So I do have lipsticks that I truly love other than the five that I'm going to show you, but they've either they're either limited edition or they have been discontinued. So I decided not to, to make just to make sure that the five I was going to include are colors that you guys can still purchase now. Uh, and there are they are definitely colors that I always have on hand uh, with me and they have been repurchases. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first color I want to talk about is actually the color that I'm wearing right now. And this one is 168 Ange Rouge Angelique. And this is a Chanel lipstick. Retails for $42. And it does have that click mechanism. And as you can see, I am like down to the down to the end on this particular uh, color so this one is a repurchase of mine I truly love this color it's just an easy easy color uh, to wear and and I know if you're watching this video it's crazy when you sit down and you look at your collection of nude lipsticks to the blind eye they all don't they all look the same basically but they all have a difference in undertone so that's what you'll see here i'll, I'll insert clips of me wearing each lipstick but i kind of just wanted to show you like the undertone is going to be uh slightly different so let's go ahead and swatch this one on the back of my hand and so i'll be swatching them on the back of my hand so you guys can kind of see the difference uh, side by side. And so here is 168 Rouge Angelique. And this is a really nice moisturizing uh, lipstick. It does not have a satin or matte finish. It's just a nice creamy uh, finish. It is, it is just a good everyday go-to color. Moving right along, my next one is an oldie but goodie, and it is MAC Viva Glam 2. I love this color. This is a satin finish. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you on the back of my hand. And every time, uh, MAC has this program that I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but they have this program that if you bring in seven empty products to them, whether it be lip glosses, compacts, foundation bottles, whatever, you get to get you get to pick one full size item that you want. And I always pick up this lipstick. This has been I'm not going to tell you how many tubes of this I have purchased because I've lost count. I always have to have this in my collection no matter what uh, so definitely if you haven't tried this one which I'm sure you have I feel like everybody knows that Mac Viva Glam 2 is a staple so I'm sure you guys already have this in your collection oh and by the way uh, Mac lipsticks retail for $19 now the third lipstick I want to talk about is of course another favorite um, I think worldwide it is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, pillow talk this is a regular one this is not pillow talk medium because uh, there's now like a range of pillow talk shades but this one's just the original shade and again another tried and true uh, color that I tend to gravitate and you and if those of you who have been following me for a while here on youtube 
uh, I tend to pick up this color a lot when I am doing um, different makeup um, tutorials and first impressions and demos because it's a color that just it goes with everything honestly it kind of doesn't even matter what palette you're wearing I feel like pillow talk is just one of those really good pink nudes that will literally just match with anything you're wearing on your eyes clothes whatnot this next one is fairly new to my collection um i think i hauled this about a year ago i think that's the they, the natasha denona launched this uh during um valentine's day last year correct me if i'm wrong in the comments down below this one is amorosa i love this lipstick and uh, when i tell you i have used this a ton a ton um this one has kind of like a purple undertone to it um you'll see it now on my swatch i really really love um this finish this is part of her i need a nude uh lipstick line and this is the only color that comes in this hot pink packaging in case you were wondering and here's the swatch down here and it has i don't know the camera okay my camera's having an issue focusing right now so it has kind of a purple undertone and this one is not a matte i feel like this is more of a satin uh finish uh, it kind of has the the same finish as uh, my MAC Viva Glam, which is another satin. I just love that color. I use it so much and it doesn't matter what, what season it is. I just, I know it's fairly new to my collection, but it's one that I knew that I was going to include in this video. And the Natasha Denona lipsticks retail for $25, uh, this particular one. I wonder, I thought that this year she was going to expand on this like hot pink packaging and come out like with whatever new lipstick she was going to come out with. It was going to be in this hot pink packaging, but she didn't. So we'll see. All right. Final lipstick. It's the, uh, it's another Chanel. Uh, but let me read it because they just have the longest names ever. This is a Rouge Allure ink and this is number 168, uh, Serenity. This one's definitely the most pink out of all of the other uh, colors I featured in this video. And I, I know you're wondering, oh, but that's not really like a lipstick because it's like in a tube. Um, the reason I decided to include this one is number one, I use it a ton. But number two, I know it comes in a tube. It's This is not, to me, considered a liquid lipstick because this doesn't fully dry down. And there is, you get the same amount of color transfer you do from a Rouge Allure ink than you do from any of the lipsticks I've showed you. So uh, that's why I decided to include this color. It is, again, a color that I wear often and i always have in my collection let me go ahead and swatch it it does retail for 42 dollars it is like i said because it doesn't dry down it does have a creamy uh consistency uh just like the rouge what's this one just like the rouge allure uh lipstick so it kind of has the same a finish if i were to say the difference between these finishes is um i feel like this one is just a little bit uh creamier a little bit oilier uh in consistency and this one is more um it's a little less uh oily it's more creamy and this one is w much more opaque in color than the Rouge Allure one. So let me go ahead and show you the swatch of this one. It's here on the bottom. And as you can see, it is the most pink out of all the other shades. And you can see its opacity is heavier 
than the first one I showed you guys. Also, don't pay attention to my nails. I just painted them and I don't clean the edges because I always end up messing up my nails when I do that. What I do is I just like wash my hands a couple times and that just comes off um, after a couple of washes. But you know, I'm working, I'm working with a short amount of time that I have because my husband is watching, watching my baby. And so I film when I can and right now I have that window. So just excuse my manicure. But I hope that you uh, did enjoy this video. Uh, a couple people asked me uh, for this video. If you want um, a similar video but with maybe a top 10, I can do that as well. Or if you would like to know what my top five liquid lipstick um, colors are like that i have in my collection i can also do that uh, let me go ahead and show you the range of swatches one more time and again these are colors that are available for purchase so if you're interested let me get a little bit closer if you're interested you can pick these up and i just wanted to keep this short and sweet um these are my my top five lipsticks in my collection that i always have to have if i run out you know that i've just placed an order for another one um i either always have this in my purse or near my beauty area which is usually where i film uh because these are colors that especially when i am demoing palettes I know that this is these are colors that will always work for me and my skin tone. It doesn't matter if I am pale in the winter or I am two shades darker in the summer because I'm tanning in the sun at the beach. These are just colors that always work for me. Uh, so if you guys own these and you guys love these too, leave me a comment down below. I would also love to hear what are your uh, favorite must-have nude lipsticks in your collection because I'm always looking to try new lip products and um, see if they work for my skin tone. So I would love to hear your recommendations in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.